Hello FlossTube and welcome back to my fifth FlossTube video. It's Laurel the Worldwide Stitcher and it's great to have you all back with me today. It is 12.06 on Sunday the 11th of October. So where have I been? It's been a long time since I've done a FlossTube video and this is actually the second time that I am filming this video more will be revealed later on. Apologies if I keep looking down, I've, I've I've made some notes because I've got a feeling this is going to be a very long video despite the fact that there isn't going to be much stitching to show. But again, we'll get into that as we go through. So I do apologise if I keep looking down, I just don't want to forget anything. So like I say, it's been a while since I last made a video. It's been over two months. So where have I been? Well, uh... I, as you'll know, if you've been with me from the beginning, I've actually been on furlough for the last seven months, um, which should have meant that a lot of stitching was taking place, but actually in reality that hasn't happened. Um, I should have been making loads of progress on my projects, but I haven't. I haven't really felt the urge to do much stitching, so therefore I've been swapping between projects quite a lot and stopping and starting and... Things just haven't worked out the way that I thought they were going to work out. Uh, it's been really, been really crazy, really, um, and I just feel really disorganised. So I am back at work now. I, for those that don't know, I work as cabin crew for a airline in the UK. I've been back at work for one trip, and I was going to film this video on my trip while I was away and maybe include a few pictures of the place that I was staying but like all things that hasn't gone to plan either so I'm filming it at home well at home yes so it was a very interesting going back to work because obviously in the current climate everything's changed the way in which we fly we're flying now has changed obviously with the masks and learning the new service and things like that so that was that was quite a lot to learn and all the new procedures that we need to follow when when we're on board and beforehand and everything like that so that was quite quite challenging but it was also quite fun um what else to tell you we still haven't moved into our house it was supposed to have been ready around now. We're buying a new build in Norwich, which is in Norfolk on the east coast in the United Kingdom. But it got delayed due to um, coronavirus when we went into lockdown back in April. But we have had a revised completion date and that is looking like December. So that's quite exciting. So that's, that's coming around quite quickly. So we need to get a stitch on to get these things to hang up in the, in the new house. Um, I've lost three stone on Slimming World whilst being on furlough, um, which is great. Feeling better for it. Feel like a new person, as you can see, I've changed the hair. Loving the new hairstyle as well. Yes, so I have been really busy, but not stitching. So if I haven't been stitching, what have I been doing? Because obviously I haven't just been bored. Um, I've actually been doing a lot of knitting. Um, one of Matt's friends is having a baby in January, so I've been making like baby jumpers and baby booties and baby blankets. And on the subject of that, I am on the lookout for a little, like probably about that big, um, cross stitch pattern. Something that's cute, easy, um, maybe a couple of colours. So if anyone's got any ideas of any really nice baby birth announcements I mean I've seen some with like the diff the little feet that are either blue or pink um something like that so if anybody's got any suggestions of where I could find one like that or anything similar if you wouldn't mind just putting a little comment uh down the bottom I have also been doing uh quite a bit of reading um I've recently started reading the Des Nielsen Killing for Company as I seem to have developed a new interest in crime and psychology 
So I think once I've finished reading the Des Nielsen Killing for Company book, I'm actually going to do a little bit of delving into Jack the Ripper, um, watch Ripper Street and do, do a bit of reading up on it because I think it's something that I might find quite fascinating. And then also a bit of delving into Fred and Rose West. Um, the other thing I'm looking forward to is on Netflix, series season four of The Crown is out next month. So I have to admit, I have again rewatched seasons one, two, and three. And I probably will do it again just because I'm so excited for that. Super excited. And that's on Netflix. And it's out, I think, November the, around November the 15th, but it might be. It's around then anyway. So I've also been watching a lot of floss a uh, lot lot of floss tube. Now I know everybody has their go-to floss tubers and um, for different reasons, etc. etc. Um so I'm just gonna briefly mention who I've been watching. Um there's five five of my go-to. Always really excited when they put when they put their videos on. Um I'll pop all the links to their channels below if you want to go check them out, but I'm sure as soon as I say them all, you're all gonna be like, oh, I've been watching these for years. Um first one is Sarah Stitching Mummy. Absolutely love her videos, love all of her projects. And I don't know how she manages to keep track of them all because I mean I've got a lot. But hats off to you, like you amazing. Um, Teresa Little Stitcher, again, she's absolutely fabulous to watch. Her videos are so professional. And it's because of her that I'm actually stitching some of the things that I'm stitching because I've seen her do it and I'm like, I wanna do that. So yes, Teresa, that's all your fault. Um Kitty Stitcher so 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 adorable um i chat to her on instagram um hers are very personal always an appearance from the kitty crew which is lovely to see i mean who doesn't love cats so personal absolutely love her videos so go and check her out um and also lisa s stitches she's my go-to for my personalized needle minders and again she's got a little poochie and uh, he's adorable yeah, little Poochie Harry. So, so cute. And recently, I have discovered a YouTuber. And she also has an Etsy shop. And I will talk more about her later. But she is called Ing Stitch. And like I said, I'm going to mention her later on. But her product projects are absolutely gorgeous. I, I, I mean, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. So... Yes, that's my my little floss tuber uh, who I've been watching on floss tube. So in the time that I have been away, I have had some stitchy haul. And like I said, I've just discovered Ing Stitch on floss tube. She also has a Etsy shop. Absolutely beautiful. The things that she makes, all handmade, beautiful, absolutely stunning. Uh, even more so that I did message her yesterday um, to put in a little order for the end of the month um for a needle threader and as soon as that arrives I'll see I will obviously show show a little picture but what I have got from her recently um I got a little needle mind I don't have it with me it's actually in London um on a project already um and I said in my first video that I'm really into tarot and this needle minder oh my goodness it is a needle minder of the moon tarot card. Now I'm a Cancerian, so ruled like by the moon. So when I saw that, I was like, I must have that. And yes, I had that. Um, I think she did have the sun as well, but yeah, the moon is just me. And that arrived in the most amazing packaging. Like it was pink, it was sparkly. It took me about an hour just to open the package because I was like, this packaging is amazing. Like, yeah. So seriously, if you want needle minders and stuff and pretty things and sparkly things and just things, go check her out. I'll link her Etsy shop down below. She is absolutely amazing. So thank you so much. Um, I'm also doing Needle Minder of the Month Club. That is with a lovely lady on Facebook. She has a Facebook group. Uh, EJ's Crafty Hangout. So I've been getting needle minders every month. Again, I don't think, I haven't got any of them with me because they were all projects. Yes, yeah, so EJ's Crafty Hangout. Uh, it's £5 a month. 
and you get a needle minder and some other little little goodies with it and I'm yes I'm really enjoying that Lo love getting a nice little little present to myself every month which is really nice and obviously when I was on furlough and through lockdown it was nice to have a little bit of stitchy stitchy fun to come through the come through the post so that's nice I'm still doing my DMC floss of the month with Lakeside like Needlecraft and on the subject of that I have recently in fact yesterday ordered some floss boxes they haven't arrived yet I'll show you them but they're just normal DMC floss boxes from Amazon so I can actually get a better system in place because at the minute my my flosses are just in a massive sewing box and they're in plastic bags and I did mention before that I have my spreadsheet but the spreadsheet is not working so we're gonna we're gonna sit down we're gonna spend a bit of time we're gonna get organized when that's gonna happen I don't know because obviously now being back at work I've got less time but I think it's definitely something that we need to do because we need to get organized and I'm really sorry about the lighting in here like we tried earlier to put the blinds down and put the, the the light on and it didn't work so this is the best that we can do so I do apologize about that but this is probably going to be where I'm filming my videos until we move into our new house because during lockdown my laptop decided that my laptop had had enough um so I'm actually filming this on my new iMac and obviously that needs to be stood up I can't move it around so unfortunately yeah this is what what, what it's going to be now and these lovely things on the windowsill here this is um my boyfriend he's got personalized plate on his car and obviously his name is that so yeah it's, sorry about all the the junk that you can see around do apologize about that it's clearly not my stitching room and also i've been experimenting with stitching my full coverages on 20 count ada so obviously i've purchased a bit of that in my stitching haul i'll talk more about that when we when we get into what's been going on so that was a very long life update if you're not here for the if you're not here for the life update like i'll pop a timestamp because in fact i will write a note of when that timestamp is because that was a lot to say note to self don't leave the video so long because you have lots of stuff then to say to the people. So, right, what's been going on? So like I say, um, there was some stitching going on. There wasn't very much because I was jumping around. On my last video, the only project that I showed you was Pandemic by Long Dog Sampler. I'm sure everyone's seen it. Um, it was originally a free pattern for a week and I think... I believe, if I am wrong, then I do apologise, that you can still purchase it on the Long Dark Sampler website. I'll just show you a picture of what it looks like of the old iPad. Okay. Long Dark Sampler pandemic. So I was stitching this on 25 count one over one using DMC number 22. I fell out of love with it, guys. Um, I love the pattern. It's something completely different to anything that I've ever stitched. But I've stopped stitching on it. It's become a UFO. And the reason for that is... I joined a Facebook group um, about stitching Pandemic. And I've seen so many people stitching it on lovely hand-dyed fabric with pretty flosses. So I've decided... Not going to waste the, the, the 25 count because it's easy guide. So I put that back into my stash. Going to use that for another Heaven and Earth design in about 50 years time when I actually have a finish and I'm going to save up a bit of money um buy some hand dyed fabric and I'm gonna I've decided I'm actually gonna try using hand dyed silks for the first time and actually make this project something really nice because obviously this year hasn't been particularly pleasant and I just think it would be nice for something nice to actually come out for 2020 Unfortunately, UFOs is the kind of theme to this video because, as you all know, I was also stitching on a couple of other Heaven and Earth designs, all of which you've seen at some point in my videos, I'm sure. But unfortunately, they've all become UFOs. I don't know why they've all become UFOs. Sorry, I've got itchy face. Don't touch the face. But they have. I'm just not 
I'm just not in love with them anymore, which is really sad because some of them, like Mini Cat Crazy Chloe, I've actually put in quite a lot of work and um, alternative reality, a lot of work, but they're just not calling to me. And I think, take um, Tarot Queen of Cups, for example. I'll show you a picture of what she looks like. She's a heaven and earth design. If I've got a picture, I should have a picture. Maybe I don't have a picture. Maybe I don't. Um, I started her back in 2000 and, I've got a random bit of hair there, in 2018. Throughout the whole time I've been off work, so the last seven months, I haven't, I haven't picked her up, haven't stitched on her, and to me, that's saying, you know, I think, I think that's, um, I think that's saying something, so, yes, yeah, so, my new UFOs are Heaven and Earth Designs, Tarot, Queen of Cups, Pandemic, Mini Cat Crazy Chloe, Story Keep, History of Chocolate, my... Two Dimensions Christmas Stockings, which I'll get onto in a moment. Heaven and Earth Designs Alternative Reality. Yeah, I think, I think that's it, but I wish I could say the reason why, but right now I, I just, none of them are calling to me. And obviously I, I don't really want to force myself to stitch on things that is just not, not what I want to stitch on really. So this video seems a bit all doom and gloom, doesn't it? <laughs> so I also have a bit of a question for you. So I have two of these Dimensions Gold Collection Christmas stockings. Oh my god, the glare is awful. I don't know if I talk about that. Um, I've got two of them. And this one, I have got the tiniest little start on it. Like I'll show you. It's so tiny. I don't know what way I am doing it, it's so small. But I don't think I'm ever going to stitch it. Like, I bought them with all good good intentions of being like, oh yeah, I've bought two, wait one for my, make one for me, wait one for the boyfriend. But I don't actually think I'm ever going to get back to stitching on this. So, I don't know if it's the Ada. I mean, I love the picture. Like, don't get me wrong, the picture's amazing. And it, they're really lovely. But they're just not for me. So I don't really know what to do with it now. Do I just throw it in the bin? I don't know, because I don't think I'm ever going to stitch on it. Anyway, let's let's move on with that. That's just another little little rant, rant there. So my plans. So I have some, not exciting news, but something happier to talk about now. So I actually have made some plans going forward, and this bit of hair is really driving me insane. So I've decided that there are, on average, four weeks, four to five weeks in a month. So I've decided to let myself have four new starts. Because I've just UFO'd loads of stuff, of course, the most sensible thing is to have some new starts, of course. My first new start is going to be the one that I'm actually going to stitch on the 20 count um, Easy Guide Ada. Um, and it is a Heaven and Earth design by Melissa Dawn. And it's mini pumpkin cat magic. And the reason it's all folded up like that is not how my printer printed out. It's already in its bag with all its flosses. Uh, this is actually the very first Heaven and Earth design that I purchased. That cat is just so cute. And I did start it. I think it was in my third video. I showed some of my whips from previous. But when I started it before, I started it on 25 count even weave, not the, the gridded one. And I was stitching it with CXC threads. So I've decided, I love the, I love the picture. So yeah, like I say, I've decided to restart it on the 20 count Easy Grid Ada with DMC threads um, and just see how how I get on with that. I've never stitched on 20 count Ada, so hopefully, it's fast, it's going to go well and I'm going to love it. And then maybe going forward I'll be able to get a bit more progress, so that's exciting. My second new start, which I can actually show you because I did start this, um, but it's not going to stay, um, it's going to change. My second new start is um, a he another Heaven and Earth design. In fact, I think all my starts are Heaven and Earth designs. Sensible. 
Um, it's a free. Uh, it's a free chart. Um, it's by Hannah Disney, and it's Maui Princess. Now I've been to Hawaii twice on holiday, and I loved it. Like it's amazing, and I just think she's so 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 pretty, and she would look really nice hanging in the bathroom if I ever finish her. Because obviously, as we've already established, I don't finish much. Now I started her on twenty count. Easy guide Ada. I can show you. It's, I've done not even a hundred stitches, and the Ada's so big. Look, loads of it. And I don't know what it is, but I wasn't getting on with it with this particular. Yes, I do know what it is. Sorry, the Ada was too. I hadn't left myself enough border, so it wasn't sitting in the queue snap properly. That's all I've done. My needle minder's there from Etsy. It's um. Ariel from Little Mermaid and the Sheen. I hadn't left myself enough border, so it wasn't sitting in the queue snap properly. So what I've decided to do is, as this, as she is so big, I mean she is sixteen inches wide by twenty inches high. She's huge. So what I've decided to do is not waste this Ada. I'm going to use that, put it back in my stash, and then use it going forwards. I've decided that I'm going to stitch her on 25 count easy guide, which I have ordered from Lakeside Needlecraft. Ordered it yesterday. No, I didn't order it from Lakeside Needlecraft. I'm telling lies. Ordered it from eBay, which has come in because I needed quite a big piece. Uh, even though, because I, I do like a big border on mine, because at some point I'm actually going to frame stuff um, when it's finished. So yeah, I've ordered quite a big piece of. Uh, even with for that and I'll put that back in my stash and then obviously if I come on something smaller then yeah and I've just realized I actually have a picture of my start of mini pumpkin cat it's in the queue snap I didn't actually realize I had a picture but yes and that needle minder the pumpkin is the um October one from EJ's crafty hangout from the needle minder club that I'm part of on Facebook super cute and super light as well my third new start is kind of it's not a replacement for queen of cups but it kind of is so we're going back on the tarot theme unfortunately i don't know who the artwork is by um, but i'll pop a link down the same with all of my new starts and all of the patterns i've spoken about i'll pop links to them all down below and this is mini the reader <laughs> There's a bit of a thing going on here. Kitty cats. Who doesn't love cats? And also tarot cards. So I did think that this one, this one is a lot smaller than Queen of Cups. I mean, she was huge. Um, it's a lot smaller because it's the mini version. So it is kind of a replacement for that. Not that I want to replace that because I still I still love the pattern. But obviously, you know, she's a bit big. But I'm going to stitch that on 25 count one over one. That's probably going to be the fabric that the excess fabric that I had that's already in my stash, don't need to buy anything for that. I think I need a few colours for it, like buy a few, I mean maybe three or four, maximum five. So I'll probably just whack an order in with Lakeside Needlecraft and just get them more delivered. And then when they arrive, I mean I've got, I've got the black and it starts stitching with black so might try doing that one cross country. Maybe not extreme cross country because I normally do my uh, Heaven and Earth Designs by parking. Probably not going to do it uh, extreme cross country, but yes, we'll see. I am hoping that when I do my next video, I'm going to have loads of things to show you because I've talked about all these new stuff. So hopefully, we're going to have lots to talk about and show you next time. Because I do apologise, this is probably really boring. And my final new start is going to be a gift. I've already decided that it's going to be a gift. It works in Pattern Keeper because it is not Heaven and Earth Design. Yay! Pattern Keeper. If you don't know about Pattern Keeper, oh my god, life changing. Android tablets, amazing. Um, so it's going to be a gift for Matt, who is my boyfriend. So if you are watching this video, and I know you might be because you edit my videos and you do all the fancy computery type stuff that I can't do, turn it off now. And if you don't, then you've ruined your surprise. Bad. So yes, it's another full coverage. It's from Etsy, it's an Etsy store, which I will link below. 
and it is The Simpsons. And that, that is all. And it's amazing. Um, it's quite blocky colour. But what I've decided I'm going to do with this one is do all the black, so all the outlines of them, uh, the sofa and everything like that. And then it's just a case of really filling in because it's not really shading as such. It's quite blocky. So I feel like this one's going to live in my work bag. And I feel it's going to be quite an easy one to do while I'm away. Because also being that it's in my work bag, I'll actually be able to stitch on it quite a bit because, you know, he's not with me. So that's four new starts. However, I do still have, and I do still love very much, my Mirabilia Roses of Provence, which I don't think, I don't have any pictures of. If I can find one, I'll insert the picture now. So you've either seen a picture of her, or I didn't find one, so you're not. So obviously she makes it five, now, what I'm thinking is, I tried rotation before, and it didn't really work out, but I'm going to dedicate e a week to each of the five projects that I've just said, and see how that works. Obviously, being that it's Halloween at the moment, my first week, which will start from tomorrow, um, I'm going to start with the mini tarot reader, give that a week, then obviously I have to go to work in that time, so when I'm at work... The only project I will work on will obviously be The Simpsons. And then the next week will be Mini Pumpkin Cat. Then Maui Princess. And so forth. Going forward. And then we'll see how that goes. And then hopefully when I do my next video, I'm going to have loads of stuff to show you. Because I'll be like, yeah, the new rotation works great. Look how much I've got done. <laughs> we can all hope. So that is my plans and I know there is a lot of new starts um but all of them are really shouting to me like n I haven't bought any of these apart from the Simpsons the three heaven and earths I've had in my stash for a very long time and they're all screaming at me they're like stitch me stitch me so yeah that's why I'm having the new starts and I just I just think that might be what I need to just sort of whoo, get me going again now there is one more hauly type thing so maybe it should have been in the haul section but I feel like I just wanted to give it its own little section um me and Matt have been together for two years now I know it's not a long time to some people but he we decided that because we've been together two years we would buy each other a little little anniversary present and yes he has bought me a Chatelet now Teresa Little Stitcher is stitching the Chatelaine Evening in the Park and it's absolutely beautiful. Her work is amazing. Like the way it's come into life is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I went and had a look on the Chatelaine website and I very nearly bought the same one. Very nearly bought Evening in the Park. But then I saw this one and I was like, do you know what? No, it's got to be this one. So this is Romantic Rose Garden. And it's stunning. Now, I've never stitched a chatelaine before. I've never stitched speciality stitches before. I've never worked with the Gloriana silks before. So it's going to be a lot of firsts. But that's okay. Um, there's plenty of YouTube tutorials. And I'm sure that if I get stuck, I can always come on FlossTube and be like, help me, people. I can't do it. And someone will be able to help me, which is great. So yes, we ordered the full kit from European Cross Stitch. That got dispatched on Thursday from the US. So now we just have to be patient, not to chase the postman every single day and ask, where's my parcel? We just have to be patient and we just have to wait. Which is okay because my fabric hasn't arrived yet, but I've picked my fabric. I have a picture of it. It hasn't arrived yet, but I do have a picture to show you. The fabric I've ordered is from Crafty Kitten, so Dawn down at Crafty Kitten, which I will link below. And it is a 32 count even weave called Rosa Opalescent. And it is pink. I do, I do. Oh, that's not too bad. And I just thought that is going to look absolutely stunning on this fabric. And it's opalescent, and I've never stitched on opalescent fabric before. 
so that should be quite exciting. So we are at 30 minutes <laughs> exactly. Um, and that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. Now, if you stick with me that stuck with me this long, you deserve medals because this has been so boring. I haven't really had much to show you. But before I go, there is one more thing that I want to mention, and it is not stitching related and it is not craft related in any way, shape, or form. So a very good friend of mine drew my attention to the fact that it is actually Mental Health Awareness Week and yesterday was Mental Health Awareness Day uh, on the 10th of October. And I think even more so now with the current pandemic, not being able to see family and friends and everything like that, mental health is an even bigger thing than it was before. So my, my friend Elliot, he's on Instagram and he's also started a YouTube channel, both of which I will link down below. Um, all about mental health and on his YouTube channel he's also got a little side of running because he's doing a Route 66 running challenge um, and it's all about mental health about how he deals with mental health problems and he just he's really uplifting he's really really inspiring in what he says and I just think that everyone can do with a do with a lift every now and again so honestly if you're feeling a little low go and check him out on Instagram or on YouTube. He's very new to YouTube, um, so yeah, really, really good. He's really helped me out through when I've been feeling a little down. And yes, I just, I, yeah, I just wanted to put him out there because I think, especially now, everybody just needs that little lift. And everyone just needs to remember that. It's actually okay not to be okay. And he really gets that message across to everyone. So that's enough of my ranting and rambling and whatever else. Sorry that there wasn't much stitching stuff to show you and I feel really bad because I have so many UFOs now and so many new starts. But I am very hopeful that this is the stopping point of disorganisation and that going forwards there's going to be more frequent videos. Hopefully in really nice tropical countries around the world. So I can get some amazing pictures and other stuff and there's going to be a lot more stitching so thank you all so much for sticking with me i'm sorry it took me so long to produce and then this video is crap but yeah thank you so much guys i hope you're all having a lot more stitchy fun than i am and getting a lot more progress done than i am and i will speak to you all very soon take care guys bye